Hi there everybody. On today's video I have this uh, BMW 1 Series F20. Uh, this is a 2012 um, 116i and I'm gonna be changing the spark plugs in it. So I got my uh, spark plug here. This is a laser platinum. It's the number there. PL zkbr 7 b 8 g um, so just make sure you um, you get the correct plugs for your particular vehicle because although this is a 116 uh, petrol you might be working on a 118 or something else so um, we're also going to need uh, this tool this is a 14 millimeter uh, especially for uh, spark plugs so um, because these particular plugs are slightly different to the other ones so these have uh, this type of head here they haven't got the hex so that needs to fit in there like so and it's quite a skinny tool um, also there is a rubber in there that holds the plug so you can get it out and um, sometimes when you fit the plug back in and you try to remove your extension um, this stays in there so I usually apply a little bit of WD-40 on this rubber when I'm gonna fit this back so I'm gonna start by pulling that cover out uh, that literally pulls out but just be careful there is a hose connected on the side so I'm just gonna put it on the side there leave it there um, this uh, particular I mean this uh, job will also um, give you access to your coil packs so if you needed to change a coil pack you can also follow this method Now uh, we need to remove the coil packs and for that we need to disconnect the, uh, the electrical connection. So for that we're going to pull these covers and uh, disconnect the electrical connection there. So we might need to pull the um, coil pack a little bit just to give us uh, obviously room to get the connection out. Um, another thing, I'm going to um, I'm going to mark this. I'm just gonna put like a number one there. So I know that belongs to number cylinder number one because I'm going to fit the coils uh, as they come out. Um, if these are a little bit hard to pull, you can, you can uh, always help yourself sometimes with something like this or a screwdriver. If you put it in there, you can... Uh, just lever it against something and it just makes it a bit easier to remove so you don't pull it out like I just did the first one okay so we're gonna put number two here Again, just help ourselves a little bit. Yeah.
and I'm um, just marking this as number three so these these are sitting a little bit um, far from where I am so that's why I'm having to stretch quite a bit here but it's all doable Uh, this car is, I think this car is covered um, around 50,000 miles now. Not the hell of a lot, but um, nevertheless, we are tackling the spa flags. So now we can undo this. Which you might feel that they're not really in extremely tight. I just uh, slipped. <laughs> right. Let's get this out. And that's my plug there. So now we're just gonna fit the plugs back in. As I said, I'm gonna spray a little bit of WD-14 inside my tool. Also, um, I do spray a little bit of WD-40 on the thread of the new plug. So it just allows me to get it in by hand a little bit easier. And uh, I always get them in by hand as much as I can, make sure they're going in the correct way, not forcing them in, and you see that was very easy to pull out. Had I not put the WD-40, what happens is you pull this out and that remains in there. And then you have to remove the plug again, remove the tool, put the WD-40 and so on. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and fit the other three. That's it, now we can tighten them. And I don't think this would go in tighter than 20, 25 Newton meters to be honest. Um, but just, you can feel once they are close then just leave them there, you don't need to carry on tightening them. Now we can get our coil packs back in and of course we number them so we know where they belong. Uh, just another thing, just in case, but you will notice that this plug has a this a triangular shape. So this bit here um, goes on to that little plastic guy there. So that little guide there, that's where that goes. 
So I just try to aim, aim to put it in between that. It's not hard, obviously, because that's how uh, it fits. Even with the wiring, you can't really put it in, in a different way. But in order to be able to push the plug in properly, it needs to go in that little triangle. And another thing, make sure you push the wire all the way in and then lock it. I have seen occasionally that the wire is a little bit out and uh, it tends to cause an occasional misfire and it's just the wire that is not being pushed in. So once you have everything in, make sure all the plugs are, I mean all the coils are pushed in all the way in properly. And uh, we're pretty much done here. I just put a little bit of WD-40 on on the little mounts that plug in there. And uh, now I'm just going to start the car and make sure everything is running well. That's it. I'm happy with that. So I um, hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.